Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm seeing a NVIDIA massive dump. Now, that's a question that I'm posing to you because earnings is due to be released today after the market closes. What do you think is going to happen to the price? We already got some hints, and I'm going to show you from the chart as to what the market is preparing for. OK, now we've already got a prediction on our charts right now in NVIDIA. We're looking for the market to go up, right? We did a video in NVIDIA on the 16th of August. Now, before I break down this prediction or what I'm seeing on the markets for NVIDIA, you appreciate how I break down the charts and how we see things differently in the markets. Then go ahead and follow me. Hit the like button, share the video and also subscribe here for more content because we're very unique over here. We don't try to place a whole lot of mess in the analysis of price action. We just simply pay attention to what all the smart money, so-called the, the bankers, the hedge funds, what are they trying to do? Because you would think that they are in control of the majority of the money in the world, in the planet right now, and that they would do what's best in their interests. They won't try to place themselves in bad trades because it will go against the money that they're managing and the people who want them to make money for them. So what best analysis, research, data is there than looking at the charts? Because they've already done their research. Trust. They're not just going to throw money at a stock and say, I hope it goes up. That is not that is not how the market works. Now, I know there's a lot of smaller YouTubers and other people out here that would think that's what they do. But no, they put a whole lot of money in their processes, in their research, in their computer systems to substantiate. Hey, there's a high probability that this stock is going to do this. Or that is not going to do this. So earnings is about to come out in NVIDIA, right? And I want you all to see something. Because after we did our video, we got a signal of a buy off of our chart. Okay, I'm paying attention now. I'm looking like, all right, cool. We appreciate all of the smart money, all of the people who have billions of dollars of assets under management. I appreciate them giving us the signal. Right? That's a great signal. Because it tells us that we're on the right side. But have you seen what happened after that signal was triggered? What's been going on with the price? Look at it. What's been going on? We've been seeing the market trade sideways. Uh oh. See, price doesn't like to stay stagnated, it likes to move. And then when it's not moving, is telling that something is going on. Why hasn't NVIDIA continue its higher price movement? Why? Because there's only one force that can stop market from going up. Only one. And that is selling. That's not a coincidence that we identified this sell zone into the market for NVIDIA. Right here. Around $130. We identified this area. Like I said, these people are smart they're not just going to play around with the money that they got at their disposal so every time the price of nvidia comes to that sell zone the sellers re-engage they fire back and they try to push the price back down to nvidia right so when you see situations like this this is where you need to come and say all right cool i'm gonna take some of this off the table get out the market because apparently something is not going right for price not to go up. And we know what it is. The seller's there. So if you were to take off a little bit now, cool. 3.37% three and three, 3 profit right there. Now, it's also a good thing to see price not going lower. Okay? It's also a good thing. Because when you see price hitting a sell zone and it continues to get rejected and comes down, but you can tell that the market is not doing this, right? Let me get rid of that arrow. So let me get rid of this arrow and show you this. When you see a market hitting a sell zone, 
you're expecting it to get rejected, right? You're expecting it to go lower and then lower and then lower. That's what you need to see. But over the last week or so in NVIDIA, we've just been bumping our heads. It's just been continuing to hit, but the market's not going lower though. That is another clue because somebody on the opposite side of the trade is saying, cool, whoever wants to sell, sell it to me. I'm willing to buy at this price because I'm looking for the market to go higher. Now, let's see this on the two day chart for NVIDIA. OK, because this signifies that, yes, sellers are here. This two day price bar, this one and this one. OK. So eight hours and 57 minutes will this two day price bar end. And it's not a coincidence that it's happening right around earnings. It's not a coincidence. So once the market closes today, if you see price go all the way down to 108 to $100, you understand the reason why is because the sellers were here. And there's a whole lot of them to where buyers couldn't break the market above it. All right, you're just on the three. Take a look at NVIDIA on the four. Here's NVIDIA on the five. NVIDIA on the seven hour chart. So yes, could anything happen at the market close? Yes. But from what I'm seeing is that someone is definitely taking a gamble and saying, look, I want to buy NVIDIA because price is not falling. It's not falling. We got this signal of weakness right here on the seven hour chart. Did the market go down? No, it's staying healthy. You got the indication of weakness right here on the seven hour push to go down. Is the market going down? No, it's staying healthy. Someone is buying this stock. Now, maybe the market will switch once price closes and this these individuals with billions of dollars at their disposal, they don't like what Nvidia said in the earnings. So they may immediately switch over and become sellers. Then the market will crash, will go lower. But as of right now, that's not what we're seeing on the charts. Here it is on the five. Every dip that occurs on this hourly chart is being bought up. Somebody is buying this stock. And they're not letting it go right there. Here it is on the three. It's all given the same type of images. It's depicting the same story. What about on the one? So I'm going to continue to go forward with our analysis and say that Nvidia still wants to go higher. The only bad part about when you're in the stock market is that we don't have access to continue to trade after the market closes. That's where all the volatility is going to happen. But that's what I'm seeing right now. What do you guys see? Let me know. Make sure you maintain profit and as always trade different.